Hey guys, sorry I've been uh, MIA for the last uh, couple days. I've uh, been dealing with some family issues. Uh, had a death in the family, so uh, had to uh, take care of that. But uh, so back on track. I know yesterday was Monday, but I want to do this five list anyway because it's just a fun list to do especially for the weather that we've had the last couple days at least in ohio i don't know how it was for you guys but we had <laughs> at least six inches drop here in central ohio burns probably got way more than any of us but uh yep so the thing to do on snowy days when you're stuck inside and you can't go out in your car and speed around and have fun with it unless you have a parking lot that's empty nearby the snow field and then you can have a lot of fun with that but getting there's the problem anyways when you're at home nothing else to do you can snuggle up with your loved one or your spouse and just watch a couple good movies and so this is going to be a list of five movies i enjoy now these are not like my all-time favorites or anything like that these are just like they're fun movies, interesting movies, but uh, uh, so we'll start off the list with Days of Thunder. So this has uh, Tom Cruise in it, and uh, I can't remember the other guy's name. Uh, he's a big name actor too, but uh, has Tom Cruise in it. It's about a NASCAR driver who is basically learning how to drive a NASCAR and be able to compete in it without wrecking his car. Uh, I think it's a fun one just because they actually use some actual techniques in the movie that are relevant to techniques done on uh, an actual na actual NASCAR course. This is cool. Uh, next would be uh, Italian Dagon Nights has Will Ferrell in it, and uh, it's just a fun movie. It's always nice to have a good comedy, you know. But uh, the third one is uh you guys are probably gonna hate me for it but it is need for or not need for speed uh fast and the furious tokyo drift so that's kind of the movie that got me kind of started get hooked on cars uh other than what i was involved with at the time but my uh my real obsession was obsession was uh, Japanese cars at the time. And that movie, Tokyo Drift, Japanese cars are there, and I think they kind of ruined the movie a little bit when they took that Mustang and put that Nissan engine in it. I just kind of, or, why would you do that? Why why would you ruin a car, ruin a Mustang like that? Anyways, uh, next one is Gone in 60 Seconds. That is an awesome movie, I think. It's just the wide variety of cars they have on the list that they have to get. It's uh, Nicolas Cage and Angelina Jolie. Uh, basically, they're stealing cars to save Nicolas Cage's brother from a couple gangsters from killing him for not making a deadline. But uh, it's just neat to see all the different cars that they steal and how they, how they go about doing it. It, uh, and then at the end they have uh, what's called a unicorn that's what they call it but it's uh, a 60 correct me if I'm wrong a 66 fastback Mustang uh, it's silver black and it kind of got me liking muscle cars that's where I kind of started getting liking the muscle car when that came out so I'm not a Mustang fan, but still, you guys got to admit, that was one badass Mustang they had in that movie. Uh, and finally, there's another Mustang It's uh, in this one. It's uh, Death Race with Jason Statham. I can't remember who the supporting actor was, but uh, that is a, just a cool action movie. And it's just fun to watch them go shoot some stuff up and wreck some cars, you know. But, guys, that's my list.
let me know what your favorite race movies are to watch uh, in the comment section below. If you have not, subscribe. We're in for a fantastic year. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review of the cross tour camera here soon and uh, letting you guys know what my overall thought is. Uh, I've showed you some comparisons, but I haven't really gone into the nitty gritty details. I've done some more filming with it just to uh, start getting used to it. So, uh, guys, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.